guys, so we're once again at another hippie market. I'm already set up, so let me show you the setup. Okay, so this is the setup, pretty much exactly the same as last time, which I really liked. Got some new jackets, lots of bucket hats. This is my outfit of the day. I didn't know when else to wear this, so today it is. Lots of jeans. And then of course, we got some more at the back here. Erin already uh, did a fair, her fair share of shopping. <laughs> yes. I already made two sales today and kind of just started, so we're doing good. Erin, I just bought this jacket from somebody's shop. Tell them what you're telling me about the stains. I said, who cares about stains? If anything, it like makes it look vintage. So true. Yeah, there's a stain right there, but like. You see, this is like, whoa, that is not from Shane. You're either a stain girl or you're not a stain girl. We are yeah, stain girls. I'm a stain girl. <laughs> I also forgot to mention that I am going to be telling you guys exactly how much money I make at the end of this video. So stick around for that. Yeah. Stick around. Yeah, you better stick yeah. around. Stick around. <laughs> you better not leave right now. I swear to God. Peer pressure. It looks like yogurt. This reminds you of yogurt? Yogurt. Okay. <laughs> okay, I wanted to do the thing I did last time. What? Everyone choose an item that you think is gonna sell today. Even though I've already made three sales. Okay, cool. I like the sound of that. It's manifesting. Yes, see? If it's a game, but also a manifestation. I'm surprised if this doesn't sell. Yeah, this is a, this is a good one. this show on the back. Yeah. I don't like it. What? That's what makes it good. I think this jacket's going to sell, and this is just based on last market, but I think this bucket hat's gonna sell. We're eating lunch now, courtesy of Matt, thank you. Body all is, it's basically a tradition at this point. Literally the best, the best pizza ever. Yeah. Just sold the angel jacket, which is funny because I was just saying that's what I think is going to sell, which is awesome. So we just have a few left now. market now I've been making lots of sales which is good I just sold another um, jacket which is really good those have been big sellers at the market got one hour left is pretty much a wrap on another hippie market it's like six hours long but it always goes by so quickly but definitely a successful one and yeah just grabbing the cart right now so i can swing it over back over there and pack everything up so i will see you guys later <laughs> that's a wrap All right guys, so I'm back from the hippie market and as promised, I'm going to be telling you exactly how much money I ended up making. And this isn't to like brag or anything because I honestly don't think it's anything to brag about. I don't think it's like that impressive. But as you guys know, on my channel, I just like to give like a realistic view of what you guys as sellers can achieve and like just like a rough idea or an example of like how much money you can make at a market but as always this market was super super fun it's always just like a great time i always meet such like cool people and as always thank you to anybody who ended up purchasing something or just came by and of course also a huge thank you to my sister who ended up coming out and helping me it's just like a huge help setting up and taking down so that is very much appreciated 
but let's get into the numbers so this time around i actually ended up selling 17 different items whereas at my last hippie market i sold 20 items so almost the same amount just a little bit less i sold four pairs of pants a couple dresses and mostly tops so like sweaters t-shirts tank tops that sort of thing and i did end up selling one more pair of shorts which you guys know i've been trying to like get rid of so that's really good Honestly, I was expecting to sell more jeans because, you know, fall's coming up, but can't complain. And I did end up selling two of my rework jackets, which is always great because those are always, like, big ticket items for me and like really helped me like bulk up my sales which is really good i unfortunately did not sell any bucket hats this time which is a little bit sad because i spent so much time <laughs> making them and prepping them for this market but that is okay because i'll just have them for the next market so it's fine actually i just remembered i didn't sell any bucket hats at the market but there was a girl who messaged me afterwards saying who like actually tried one on and she said she couldn't stop thinking about it so she did actually end up purchasing it like afterwards so i didn't sell one at the market but i made a sale because of the market if that makes sense but at this market i actually ended up making 510 dollars in total but if you guys have watched my market vlogs before you know of course that's not how much money i actually made because we do have some expenses to account for so our biggest expense of course is the market fee so it does cost 95 dollars to sell at the market which of course is worth it because I end up making more money than that at the end of the day, but that is definitely the biggest expense of the day. The next biggest expense is my cost of goods, so basically how much I paid for all the items that ended up selling, and that basically ended up being about $83. Then of course I did have to pay for transportation to get there, so it cost me about $20 for gas and then only $8 for parking once I got there, so honestly not bad. Meaning that at the end of the day, I actually made about $303, so not bad at all, but not quite as good as my last market. My last market was my best of all time, so it has been hard to top that. And I think why I did so well last time is because I did sell like at least one or two bucket hats, so that definitely helps. And I did bring an extra reworked jacket with me. So I ended up selling three rework jackets that time, whereas this time I only sold two. So it's definitely been a goal of mine to try to make more of those, but it is really hard sourcing the jackets and sourcing, you know, the graphics to go on the back. That's really like the only obstacle from stopping me from making them, but I have been working on that to bring like as many as I can to each market. And as I normally do in my what sold videos, I like to average out, you know, the average amount I made per item. And that ended up being about $17.80 per item, which is really, really good. That's right around like where my goal is. Usually like 15 to 20 is my goal. So pretty much right on. But if you guys want to see every single item that I did end up selling at the Happy Market, you are gonna have to stick around for my what sold video which will be coming out at the end of the month but that is basically my whole hippie market vlog and recap i know most of you guys mostly sell online so i hope this these videos are helpful for those of you who maybe want to break into selling in person or maybe it's just like interesting to hear me talk about them let me know if you guys like these videos or not but i feel super grateful that i've been able to do a bunch of these markets consistently so huge shout out to hippie market of course and i do have another exciting kind of like market in the works hopefully everything falls through with that because if it does it's gonna be really really cool and i'm definitely gonna vlog it for you guys but as always thank you guys so much for watching and i will see you next week for some more thrifting content mm -hmm.